some news now. The NASCAR Chicago street race is still a month away, but road closures started today to allow for construction of the main viewing areas. And it did. Uh, Courtney Spinelli live in Grand Park with more on what you can expect. Courtney. At Pat and Lourdes, good morning. Where I'm standing right now is going to look entirely different in just under a month. We'll have the start, the finish line, pit road, all of the grandstands for all of the fans to watch, and it's going to be a big experience. NASCAR officials say they really learned from last year's inaugural race and took those lessons to be able to help plan for everything that they've got going on for this year's race. The city is revving up for the second ever NASCAR Chicago Street Race weekend. Today marks the kickoff for pre-race activity, including everyone's favorite street closures. Ida B. Wells is now closed from Michigan Avenue to Columbus Drive. You'll also want to note parking restrictions along southbound Columbus between Jackson Drive and Balbo Drive. There will be some temporary road closures in place and other lane restrictions in between now and the race, but the next major closure takes effect on June 27th with Jackson Drive closing between Michigan and Columbus. The course itself will remain the same, and there are some changes that include free tickets for kids under the age of 12 on Saturday. NASCAR representatives say they took many things into consideration when working out a schedule for buildup and breakdown. Really, it's focused around the viewing structures right now. Uh, last year, we did an after action exercise. We knew we were going to learn a lot, um, so working with our partners in the city, excited that this year we were able to take six days off of the build and loadout schedule. Again, being able to minimize disruptions for residents and businesses continue to be a priority for us. NASCAR says it is working with local businesses, community leaders, and elected officials to showcase what makes Chicago so special. It will highlight things like music, culture, art, and more from across each of Chicago's 77 neighborhoods. Many of them will also be featured at the free fan festival at Butler Field and Grant Park during race weekend. Now, in addition to those road closures, you'll also start to notice a lot of the fencing going up again as they start to prep to get those viewing structures in place. NASCAR says this is really about introducing even more people to the city of Chicago and also driving economic impact. Last year, it brought in nearly $109 million for the city, according to NASCAR officials. Again, right now, you do want to avoid Ida B. Wells between Michigan and Columbus as this all now gets underway. Reporting live downtown, Courtney Spinelli, WG. Yeah, news.